promise to present you with a tale most tragic. The tragedy extract is only filling about half of the flask right now, you see. <laughs> I have another pretty sad story to tell of a young man who enlisted so he could afford meds for his sick mommy. Enough! Is killing one person not satisfying enough for you? Don't make me sound so evil. He collapsed all on his own. It wasn't my fault. And the way he died wasn't dramatic at all. I mean, the small old man ran away, and now that guy's the only one left, you know? Enough, you lowlife! Release my subordinate at once! <laughs> a lowlife, am I? How rude to be called a lowlife by a lowlife like yourself! <laughs> a true lowlife, desiring tragedy extract so bad that you'll sacrifice your subordinates. Sacrifice us? No! I didn't mean for... Why are you getting so remorseful? Once he dies, everything's solved. The ones who ridiculed you as the dog princess will vanish, and you get the tragedy extract. <laughs> That's called a win-win. Let's be touched by a fantastically sad finale. Pay the price for messing with my toys, Hundred Knight! <laughs> There's no way you can beat me! I'm the protector of the pillar! <laughs> Don't underestimate me! If you do, you'll regret it so much that you'll wish you were dead! Wait! 
because of the pillar. Your luck's run out. You pissed off the Swamp Witch, Metallia. Now all you can hope to do is writhe in agony and die for me. The, the infamous Swamp Witch, Metallia? Damn! If the wicked Swamp Witch didn't get in my way, everything would have worked out just fine. To gain people's trust, and then watch them cry out when they're betrayed. I wanted to see the despair and hate. It, it was all to get my revenge. I trusted humans long ago, but they betrayed me. I worked tirelessly for them. I offered my powers to the trees, helping a human village to flourish. But when their lives grew stable, they stopped giving offerings to me. They lost all respect for us fairies. Not right. That's not right at all. So, to bring despair back to those humans, I borrowed Duchess Valentine's powers to become a protector. <laughs> wow, what a lame story. A coward who runs from reality, huh? You thought that was a good sob story? Grow up, you spineless little prick. What, what did you call my story? Lame? Y you Who do you think you are? You filthy, tasteless bitch of a witch! I won't let you get away with this! I'll read your disgusting mind. I'll force you to get lost in your own thoughts and seal that filthy mouth! Huh? What's going on? Weird. This is so weird. What's with her? What's with her? <laughs> this sack of crap thought he could actually do something about me? No, no, no way. No! I guess a little bit of hate-fueled revenge doesn't produce a tragedy at all. Great... Witch... I can't... <coughs> oh, you're still breathing. 
please. My last wish. My subordinate died because of me. Please, furry pigs. Properly. As for my ugly corpse, just put it somewhere it won't be seen. Hey, show me the items you've collected. You know, the chicory bug leaf and flame frog egg? Show them to me. to get them close but not good enough I can't make the antidote without the tragedy extract great which um... what now not even I can make an antidote without the ingredients just give up and suffocate yourself I see I suppose it no longer matters Ugh, you're dying too slow. If you have to spit something out before you croak, say it already. Hundred Knight. If she comes back from near death again, break her damn skull. Uh, uh, great witch. I truly wish to thank you. I leave the rest in your capable hands. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Forest Witch, Lady Malia. Huh? You're thanking the wrong person. After all, my name is Metalia. Metalia? Hell yeah! The Great Swamp Witch Metalia! What? No way! You aren't Lady Malia? That vomiting whore is gone! G gone? By that, I mean she's left this damn world. I sent her off with my own two hands! W what? I said to crush her skull if she came back from near death again. But you... Oh. Well. Looks like she finally died. Luck's looking out for her today. I heard it! Really, I did! She definitely, definitely said it! That... that she killed the Great Witch of the Forest, Lady Malia! No wonder the life force of the forest has been on the decline. This is a very, very big deal. I need to let the other Great Witches know post-haste! Either way, she's a new player in this game, but she's quite the brat. Just you watch. I will definitely make you suffer through some awful things. I, the Tar Witch Teresa, swear it. <laughs>
How's that grab you? Pretty surprised. What's going on? Th this is all you're doing. Huh? Man, so freaking loud. C come on out, swamp witch. You, you tricked me. You scheming hag of a witch. Gotten. I think your stupid tits are each the size of a whole cooked turkey. They are quite splendid to behold, yes. On top of this, you came back from the precipice of death. How lucky can one idiot get? I... I will not sit here and be subject to such boorishness. You've gotten better, but you've also gotten a real attitude, dog princess. What did you do to my body? You mad? I think of all things, you should be grateful to me. I made the antidote I promised you, and I even poured it down your mongrel throat. How is this any kind of antidote? You speak nonsense! This is so shameful! Hey! Stay right there! You will suffer my holy judgment! I'm a knight of Amataya, 56th member of the Inquisitors, Visco Dotrish. My assessment of the Swamp Witch Metalia, I acknowledge you as an evil witch. As a representative for the Inquisitors, those who slay evil witches, I will now take your life! What? Calmed down at last. Sheesh. What a handful. No matter how big she gets, she's still a mutt. She can't beat me. So the question is, what'll I do with her? Let her brine in the swamp until she becomes a pickled swamp dog? I admit, I do enjoy pickled meat more than I should. Hey, I was just kidding, you know. Not even I would readily eat a dog. Anyway, she said she was some kind of inquisitor or something, right? An inquisitor is also known as a witch hunter in some circles. I believe she is one of those. Well, yeah. That much was obvious. Thank you? Or so I'd want to say. But it seems like one of us doesn't really get it. Very well. Allow me to explain in more detail to the stupid, uh, the naive, Sir Hunter Knight. Witch hunters capture evil witches seen as harmful to the kingdom and force them to reform or be executed. Those who take part in the witch hunting are known as inquisitors. It's such bullshit. The people of this country have lived alongside us witches for ages. Who are they to call a witch evil? We're always selfish and wicked. Good and evil don't really apply. Either way, it's impossible for a stupid Inquisitor to catch me. 
mock you? I do recall some past rumors about a certain swamp witch and some inquisitors who traveled here to deal with her. But they began to vomit profusely, creating a big to-do. Eventually, the noxious swamp gas finished them off. Ah, yes. Those floating bones in the swamp over there belonged to one such visitor from 58 years and 63 days ago. Your memory's that damn good. Why can't you remember my name after being corrected once? Over the past 100 years, one went plop over there, and another went plop over there, and, well, that is why Sir Hundred Knight is the first real victim, er, guest, in Master Leah's home. Yes. Metallia! Damn it! What's wrong with you? Are you pissing me off on purpose? No, no, not at all. It seems as though Master Visco has become our second guest. <laughs> An uninvited guest. Whoa! What, what was I? I can't move! What is all this? This is the witch's doing. This is an outrage! Undo my restraints this instant! Quit barking, you damn mutt! If you still know your manners as a human, then at least show a smidge of gratitude. What? You've got quite the ego to speak that way to me. <laughs> You've gotten so big that your beefy body is even more conspicuous. Like a giant meatball. What? I look this way because of you! And saying I'm a giant meatball, a meatloaf, a meathead! I didn't go that far. Silence! I won't forgive you, you third-rate witch! I will be sure to hammer the stake of justice into you! Oh, really? You already said you'd kill me. But now I get a stake of justice? And you call me the Swamp Witch third-rate? After failing to capture me? Your ignorance is pathetic! Teach your body to understand the greatness of this third-rate swamp witch. Hundred Knight, shove this right up that dog's swampy ass. You're still talking? That miracle drug should have gone into effect right away. Did I mess it up? Uh, then how about this liquid formula? I know for a fact this one works. Read the instructions? Th that's what I want to know, too! Don't use me as some kind of lab rat! Protector, are you? Unless this is due to your ridiculous increase in size. Hmm. Oh well. 
I said it earlier, but you just stay put for the time being. What? Don't joke with me! Hurry and undo these ropes! Okay. Let's leave this barking dog and get to work on our next target, Hundred Knight. Act One, Chapter Three, The Witch and the Great Duchess. Link. 